Ryan, he looks like he wants to say something because Ryan's been quiet. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, since y'all just wanted to just to make this a whole dibs conversation, I did want to ask something about dibs because I feel like this is what some people forget about this because usually when people talk about development, when it comes to dibs, people are always pointing out the young players like IQ, Mitch, RJ, Grimes, et cetera. But I think what people leave out a lot of times is that Dibs has also developed Julius Randle and he's also developing Jalen Brunson this season. Because if you look at it, when Jalen, when Julius Randle came to the Knicks that summer, I think back in like 2019, 2020, whichever, whichever year he came, mm -hmm. Julius Randle was not an all-star player. He was, was a good player. Yep. <laughs> he was a good player, but he wasn't an all-star player. During his time with the Knicks, he pretty much developed into an all-star player, a double-double machine who's giving you 25 and basically 10, 11 a night. And now you have Jalen Brunson coming in now. We know Jalen Brunson was nice with his time in Dallas. You know, he he's, he you know he, he played well, but the Jalen Brunson we're seeing with the Knicks today, we didn't know this guy was like this when he came to the Knicks. And, and, and like when I watch this Knicks team now and – I'm not really a person with hot takes. I leave all the hot takes to Lee because, you know, Lee's the one that'll just put stuff out there and be like, you know, this is going to happen. That's going to happen and predicting stuff. But when I watch this Knicks team now and I'm just seeing what's happening before my eyes and I don't really want to jump and say, but the way that they, the way that they've developed Julius Randle, the way they've developed Jalen Brunson, Basically, those are two all-star players right there on the squad at the moment. And those are two go-to guys where, when you, where if you need a basket, they can get you a basket. The team has the right mentality at the moment. Defense first. They play with a whole lot of energy on both sides of the ball. They're very, like the mentality is there. And then you look, they have the bench players as well. Guys can bring off the bench that, you know, when you put them in the game, Immediate, Im immediate impact, IQ, heart, et cetera. And before now, I always used to think that the Knicks are probably like two or three moves away from becoming a championship team. But I'm going to put it out there. The way I've been seeing the Knicks playing lately and the way I've seen Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson develop under dibs right, at, right now at the moment, I would say the Knicks are probably one special talent away. Yeah. If, they, if they get a wing, an elite wing, two-way player. Yeah, I, I would start. I would start saying. I would start saying championship. Facts. I, yeah, I, I agree. Me too. I and agree. I uh, agree hundred percent. Almost every article I've written about Tibbs has been critical. I always say he is an underrated developer. Has been from his days back in Chicago Bulls. He takes guys and he reaches maximum potential from them. You can see that Anderson Brunson, Randall, quickly, Mitchell Robinson. Quentin Grimes, McBride, Sims, Hartenstein. He's gotten maximum potential out of all of these guys. Our entire rotation, with the exception of maybe Obi Toppin and R.J. Barrett, everyone's been, been maximized. And I'll go further, Ryan. I think we can go to the East Conference Finals this year. I think Ooh, we can make a hot run. take McGee Lee. I think we have the talent. We have, we have, yeah, we have a discussion. Hot take in your back pocket, bro. I swear. Listen, listen. We we had this discussion a month ago. And I said there was only one team in the playoffs I feared. That's the Milwaukee Bucks. We're not beat to build them. We would get smacked by the Bucks. Even if we had Phil Jackson, Red All back as our coach, it wouldn't matter. But the Bucks, is, the way they're built, we can't contain them. Too many long stretch, powerful wings. Yeah. Not just counting Giannis. But anyone else, we can take Boston in seven games. We can take Philly in seven games. And we beat handily any other team in the playoffs. Miami, Toronto, Cleveland, anybody. Brooklyn will smack them. We, we, this could be a 9 9 team. Maybe at the finals, East Thomas finals, book it. I love yeah. this team. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, Lee, man. Woo. I, I'm not there with you yet, bro. I'm not You're there fine. with you yet. I'm it's fine. This year uh -huh. to be, listen, I love the 76ers. For me, what the 76ers is all about help. And when are you going to get into the game yet? The, 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 the comments and the conversation is getting a little bit spicy and everywhere. We ain't even talk about the game yet, guys. I still want to talk about the game. But <laughs> the, the 76ers and Embiid, I don't know what's happened with Embiid and his health, but there is nobody on my team to really, our team to really match with Embiid to me. So that's the thing that I'm worried about with Embiid. The Celtics, I'm still worried about the Celtics because of their versatility 
or sure. going big, small, stretch fives, all that. Um, everybody else, the Bucks, those are only three teams I really fear um, in the East. I feel like every other team, especially since the Nets have, have left town, I think we have a sh- we can beat every every team, pretty much, yeah. for sure. Uh, in my mind, so we got super chats to, to, to contend with too. Uh, but I hope you feel in the conversation. If you like the conversation for so far, the like and subscribe button is right there. Do that, please. Do that, please. All right. It's going to help the algorithms algorithm and push us to the top. We talk basketball. We talk our opinions. It's not always popular. Sometimes I'll be on my island by myself. Sometimes Lee be on the island by himself. But sure. we talk ball and <laughs> we do it the best way we can with Trash talking, analytics, and everything in between. So shout out to you guys who love the KT show and are feeling this winning streak in the debate going on right now. I don't know if I cut you a guy's train of thought off if you want to get something off. Well, I mean, we can pretty much get into the game, honestly. Okay. Wait. We can do that. Wait, Ryan, how far can the Knicks go in the playoffs? Tell me right now. I gotta know. Right now, I'm thinking second round. Right now. I'm not I'm yeah. not Eastern Conference Finals yet. I think second round. Jails. I'm, I'm saying second round too. Okay. I'm not. I'm I not think if, if we don't meet the butts until the conference finals, we're going to make the conference finals. That's my opinion. If we meet the butts in the first round, we're out. Second round, we're out. But if we can get past, avoid the butts, we're going we're gonna to go up until we end up matching up with them. That's my that's my opinion. So you, so you think the Knicks can beat either the Sixers or the Celtics? The Sixers, I had more confidence in because of James Harden's playoff history, the history of him in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. He's been a dud. Mm-hmm. And it's really a, it's a two man show between Maxi and Embiid. They're they're pick and roll. Both Harden and Embiid and Embiid and Maxi have been elite in the PNR this season. They're really hard to stop, but their supporting cast is weak and old. And we had the bids to match up with Embiid. You throw iHeart, Sims, and Mitch on them. I mean, that's a lot of fouls. That's a lot of defense. I think we have a chance. Boston's very tough. Boston is very tough. That's a seven game series. That it just depends on how RJ shows up. He's the X factor to be to beat Boston. I think he's sleeping in on Embiid a little bit, man. <laughs> so, oh, and, and, Bede, and, and Bede's my MVP. Yeah, he's yeah. top three in NBA. Yeah. But that team is mostly Embiid, where Boston's more spread out and even with depth and, and better coaching. I'm not a Doc Rivers believer at all. Yeah, my thing is yeah. if it gets if it ever gets close, the way Embiid draws fouls and can yeah. be inside out. I mean, I love Mitch. Is our I, you know what? We Money didn't Mitch. have Mitch the last time versus Embiid. Mitch plays in the best. Um, on a team, in my opinion, but if the refs get f- a whistle happy, because and that tends to happen with Embiid, who's the top of the leagues in in drawing fouls, um, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in massive trouble because <laughs> yeah, then we I have agree. to then lean on Hartenstein, who's a hack of fun, and Sims, who gets cooked. So uh, I think Tom Thibodeau can outcoach Doc Rivers in a playoff series. I said it. I think he can. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. I mean, I mean I, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna hit the gunshots. I can see that. Yes, yeah, yeah. I can see so it. Like the only thing that worries me, like JL said, the only thing that worries me about the Sixers is Embiid. Embiid's gonna be a problem matchup, but yeah. As for Harden and Maxi, I think the Knicks, I think the Knicks can shut down both of them. Amen, Honestly. brother. Yeah, Amen. But but it's Embiid is the it's issue. It's Embiid. Like, That's yeah. the issue. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Knicks have a shot to shut down Harden and Maxi for sure. And B, yeah. though, uh, uh, and Maxi can, Maxi, I don't know, man. He can, he's, he can go either way, man. He can go either way. I, I'm, I'm more confident in shutting down Harden and Maxi uh, for, for a whole series, to be honest with you. Um, Here's my last comment. Okay. There's not a single head coach in the Eastern Conference that's in the playoffs that I'm worried about. But right? I'm not the biggest Tibbs fan. But I think Tibbs can go toe-to-toe with any coach in the playoffs right now in the East Conference, including Bud, including Doc, including Missoula, any of them. There's not an elite coach in the East like there is the West. The West yeah. has a handful of uh, – Ty Lu, Mike Malone. Uh, t- t- now, you're right. You're right. I can see that. I can definitely see that for sure. Salute to the chat. Let's get to these Super Chats real quick, man. Let's get Let's to go. these Super Chats real quick. We got a couple of Super Chats. First and foremost, we got a 199 Super Chat from John Baines. It says, Randall hey. underrated in the league career year. We're going to talk about Randall. Trust me. We're going to talk about Randall specifically today. Um, so stay tuned for that conversation. Shout out to Tony Banks, who gives a $15 Super Chat. Shout out to you. 
big spender. I says this is developing into a championship team. There is no yeah. dominant team in the league. And I agree with you. I agree. Um, with you. I agree with you. Yeah. This is this is why when people were like, "Oh, this is a mid team." Oh, these wins don't mean, mean anything. I didn't agree with any of that. Because like I said before, foundation building. You have to walk before you crawl. You have to develop habits. You have to learn to win post ga close games. You have to learn your role. We have a lot of young guys, seven to eight young guys who are still on their rookie contract or just started of their second contract. Those guys have to develop. Those guys have the, the, the opportunity to develop during this season. So we're not done. Roles aren't done. We're not done. There's still more room for growth with this team. And hopefully we're going to be hitting our peak really soon. Because I, I still feel like we're peaking a little bit. Um, Gamer Channel says Eric Spolter. Eric Spolter is a good coach, but he, the Heat are, aren't a championship team. If the Eric Spolter was coaching the Bucks, that would be a different situation. But he's not. He's, he's, he's coaching Jimmy Butler and... And uh, their watch point guard over there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they might not have the play in, to be honest. Yeah. And yeah, Bam yeah. out of bio. But, yo, speaking of taking the next step and things we're missing in the elite wings, let's have this conversation about the Bob himself, RJ Barrett. All right. 